Today we're in Stavanger, Norway at the CHC Search and Rescue Facility. I'm Jamie Renna, I'm the Chief Engineer for Commercial Programs for Sikorsky Aircraft to include the S-92 aircraft. I've been a Sikorsky engineer for over 30 years and have been involved in both the testing and designing of many of the components of this aircraft. World. Jamie Renna from Sikorsky. I'm so glad to be here. As you probably know, our founder, Igor Sikorsky, envisioned that we'd be doing this with these machines and saving lives, which is what you're doing. Search and rescue, saving lives. Mayday! Mayday! My name is uh, Roald Siesert. I'm a captain of the CHC Helicopter Service. Uh, we do uh, crew change on rigs and also the search and rescue service for the oil companies. And we have about like, 50 minutes response time to any emergencies that should uh, occur offshore. And if you want to join us on a flight, we have something special made up for you. A flight uh, would be great. Yeah, we go into a ship and do some hoist training if you want to join us. Hoist training onto the ship? Yeah. That should be interesting. Uh, so we take off uh, from Sula and now we fly northbound, north, northwest, uh, about 25 minutes. Uh, we join up with the boat and now we start the hoist training. First impressions when you come out of the deck and there's a uh, hundred plus feet down there is the North Sea and alongside of that is a very large ship that's moving and it's a bit unnatural. Uh, you start to get lowered and you're now looking up at a helicopter. That's a perspective that you don't normally uh, experience live and in person. So here you are, you're dangling on that line, you're alongside you as a ship, and, and this crew is watching me and guiding me and safely delivering me on board the deck. And then soon afterwards, extracting me with the reverse process and I was raised safely back up to the West Coast. To see what this crew does and how intense and challenging the task is, overlaid with the fact that they're flying and operating a helicopter at the same time. I, I just wanted to be a teammate and, and contribute in the form of, don't worry about the helicopter, it's gonna do its job, you focus on what you need to do. Talking to Jamie gives me a whole uh, new perspective of how everything is engineered. I know you were pulling about 74% torque when you were hovering. Yep. But, you know, when we, when we certify these gearboxes, Yep. We run them at 140% torque yep. for 10 million cycles. I see. <laughs> right now the gearbox is kind of bored with what you're doing. <laughs> I see. But that's the objective. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't think that much about it uh, in everyday life because the helicopter is working, we just start it up and we go flying. Uh, but of course when you meet somebody who's uh, designed it and uh, made it, uh, you get a different view of uh, everything that needs to come together to make this helicopter work. It was an eye-opening experience to see all the components come together as a large system and be put to such an important use, saving someone's life. Using this helicopter helps us just focus on the mission. It's really rewarding to be able to help people when they need help. And uh, with this helicopter and this crew and the equipment, we are really able to, to save lives and uh, it's the most rewarding thing I can think of.